Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel and today guys I'm doing a paid review paid review indeed and this is for Richard Archie, my name is Richard from Vancouver, BC, Canada for this watch review I've sent you $28.88 US dollars 8 is, a luck, is lucky in Chinese, and it's currently Chinese New Year. I don't know why it didn't send me $88.88. Okay, not to worry. I'm pretty new to this watch collecting game. In fact, my watch collecting all started just two years ago. When I turned 30, as my father passed down to me his gold Rolex Presidential. I believe this, the reference is a 18... I think it's an 180, he says 83, but I think it's an 18038. I felt it was too flashy, so I ended up getting my first watch, the Breitling Transocean Chronograph, with their in house V01 movement. I felt this was a watch I could wear casually or at work. I work for a large bank here in Canada as a branch manager. The Submariner was an option at the time, but I wanted to be different and went against the Rolex. Still figuring if it was a right decision to this day as Rolex keeps its values much better than Breitling. You bet your goddamn ass that was a mistake. It was interesting how you mentioned their Hermes strategy in a previous video. Anyhow, during this time I also bought myself a Seiko SKX. As it seems like this shitter is pretty popular amongst social media watch collectors. They're fucking morons! They are fucking fools! Seiko that same year, I had in my possession a vintage Breitling from the 40s, which was also passed down, but as I don't have any papers on it, I don't have the exact, exact details of the model pictures are attached. <coughs> my latest purchase is when I turned 32 this year. I recently got engaged and bought myself a gift, if you will, and I ended up picking the Tudor Black Bay Steel. Yes, sirree! <coughs> I've got a Tudor Black Bay Steel myself there. Very cool choice. Very cool choice. Um, a newer model which was released this year with their in-house, that got released this year with the in-house movement. I must say I'm most happy with this purchase as I wear it regularly as it seems to go with most outfits on most occasions. Anyhow, the reason I'm reaching out is because I'm looking to get a watch in May 2019 when I get married. I know it's a bit further away, but thought I'd reach out since your reviews, your paid reviews, take so long. <laughs> Attached uh, the two pages, two Rolex watches I'm considering. Also, and also another watch doesn't seem to talk about much is the Piaget Polo. Seems pretty nice for its price point, but I worry it's too similar to the Patek Nautilus. Very interesting indeed, and thank you, Richard, for trusting the pontiff. Okay, let's talk sensibilities. Firstly, firstly, let's be completely honest here and say that you have to have fucking rocks in your head to buy a Piaget. Piaget's, um, they are like Cartier's. It's going to question your sexuality. Fuck me dead, man. You don't fucking wear a Piaget polo. No. That is a brand which is fucking terminal. That is a brand that is fucking nasty. It is fucking nasty. Do not touch that brand. Do not. My advice to you. So you have got quite a number of pieces here. We've got a 18038. That's the single quick set sapphire day date. That's a great watch. I think you should be very proud that your father actually gave you something worthwhile. My grandfather gave me this Fucking piece of shit! It's a Sentinel, and it's a piece of fucking shit! That's what it is, it's a piece of fucking shit. You also got a, what else did you get here? You've also got a 1940s Breitling, super cool, nothing wrong with that, man. Free! 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 Uh, you got Shooter Black Bay, yes, that's a cool piece, and you've also... I don't hate the Breitling. You got a you got a Breitling too, didn't you? Breitling Transocean Chronograph. Yes, that's a cool. That's actually quite a cool piece. 
but you should have gone for the Rolex because Rolex holds its own and Breitling fucking sucks monkey's balls. See, the Breitling I've got here, this was three days old and I got it for 50% off. 50% off! They fall like a stone. Do you understand that concept? Now, my advice to you, my advice to you, my advice to you is very, very simple. You've got a nice collection growing there. You got the ball and chain. You're going to hitch up soon. That's fine. No problems, Richard. Remember, that first six months is amazing. That it's, it's downhill from there. The bitches don't want to fuck no more. They don't want to give service. They don't want to cook. They're just fucking pain in the asses. Believe you me, man. Marriage is fucking overrated. Believe you me. But if you must commit this mortal sin, my advice to you would be to go for... Go for a Rolex Steel Sports. That's where I'd be going. Because you're going to have a fucking miserable time. Anyone who gets married, they always regret it. So my advice to you... Get the fucking Rolex Steel Sports because you won't be buying any more fucking watches after you sign on the dotted line. No. I think you're Asian, right? You're, so you're probably marrying another Asian. You're marrying an Asian girl. Asian bitches can be very bossy in the Western world. You gotta fucking, you gotta be careful. These fucking bitches, they will fucking run your life. <laughs> My advice to you, Richard. My advice to you is to buy the Rolex Steel Sports Watch because you won't be buying anything fucking else for a long time. Then when babies come along, you got to pay for private school and the sex will wane. Man, you know, it's not a good deal. You know you're getting trapped. You know it's a con, but you're still going to do it, aren't you, Richard? These women turn nasty. See, a man marries a woman because he wants the sex to continue. She marries you so she doesn't have to give you that level of service. It is fucked. It's really fucked. It's a trap. Don't go there, Richard. But you're not going to listen to me, are you? Let's be truthful. You're not going to listen. So, Richard, what can I fucking say to you? My advice to you, Richard, is to... I like your collection. I do like it. Get a Rolex Steel Sports Watch because you'll never be buying another fucking Rolex again under her watch. Oh, no. No, no. She's got all things. Curtains need doing. Kitchens need renovating. Oh, fuck. Believe you me, Richard, it ain't fucking pretty. You can cross that Patek Philippe off the list. That ain't gonna fucking happen. I can... Fucking tell you, it's not going to fucking happen at all. Forget the Piaget. The Piaget, if you're marrying another bloke, you could get a Piaget. But if you're actually, tr you're not transsexual, you've got to buy the Rolex, man. Get the fucking Rolex. Rolex Steel Sports. That's where it's at, man. That's where it's at. Because you're not going to be buying any more watches for a long fucking time, Rich. Come on, man, work with me, not against me, work with me on the program, work with me, work with me, I can tell you now, it ain't going to be pretty, the sex is going to be fucked, you're going to have a baby, she's going to be tired, you come back from your horrid fucking job, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to have intimacy anymore, oh, fuck, it's terrible, Richard. And, and, you know, I'm telling you this, you're going to ignore the advice. You're going to ignore the advice from the pontiff because you think it's never going to end. Well, Richard, I'm sorry, man. This is the reality. It's reality. I'm trying to be straightforward with you. But anyhow, Rich, it's okay. Get the Rolex Steel Sports. That's what I do. Get the Rolex Steel Sports. Enjoy it, man. Because your single days are coming to an end. It's fucking sad. It's bad. It's mean. It's nasty. But anyhow, you want to do what you want to do. That's okay. Thank you, Richard. I'm the Pontiff, Archibald Chesterfield III. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. Comments below, fuckers. Wistwatch check, wistwatch check. I'm wearing the Breguet. You try buying one of those when you're fucking hitched up. Let me tell you that. Fuckers. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III AC3.
Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube. Okay.